like one of the things that I've had a huge, because I've actually debated some white supremacists also on this concept, this idea that Hitler had rebuilt Germany's economy and, and then he was man of the year for time, which is it's still madness when you consider, if you guys go look it up, time man of the year in 1938 or 39 was just <laughs> was <it>? madness. <laughs> like literally the that. September of that year, he invades Poland. Just <laughs> madness when you consider this. They burned down the Reichstag. Just imagine if we had a political figure in this country right now who like, who like. I, had a, I, well, actually there is somebody, SBF. Uh, which which is this? The Sam Bankman Free. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, like, he but, was on like I think he was on time too. Yeah, 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 exactly. Time it's, time does it good, dude. Yeah, they 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 can pick winners. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so so he does he does this thing, and then he rebuilds their economy by by starting ma to manufacture all these weapons in order to start a war. That's cheating. And not only is he doing that, he's doing it using money that he's borrowing from other European countries. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I don't give Adolf Hitler any credit for rebuilding the German economy. Yeah, he did it. He, it's basically by saying you got big by taking steroids. I'm not giving you credit for that. Mm -hmm. He's using other people's money and he's doing it for nefarious reasons in order to launch an attack on France. But then people say, well, the U.S. does the same thing. You know, when we want to stimulate economy, we'll go have a war. We go, we're the biggest you know, dealer or buyer of weapons and for sure. But it's still, uh, that's $800 uh, billion and our GDP, our GDP is 23 trillion. Yeah. It's so it's, it's portion. not quite the same portion. And also we're the financial capital of the world. Yeah. So our just fixed equities alone is it trumps whatever military spending is. So I don't think that's that uh, it, it definitely is accurate that we do create a lot, but we also sell those arms to other countries, yeah. every country of the world. We have, um, we have but, but but like if we look back into World War One or two, mm -hmm. like that's what got us out of the Great Depression was war. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. definitely that, that helped a lot. A manufacturing economy is probably what helped a lot in in that type of situation. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is uh, Adolf Hitler did this thing where it was like the Jews are dumb and they're taking over your banking economy. Like, how can it be both? It can't <laughs> be both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And the thing is, w what would happen is. I am totally for those two sides negotiating, but they have to both negotiate in good faith. Basically, I can't say, hey, man, let me find a good way for us to exit this deal. And your response is, I agree with you, except you need to die. Like, yeah. that's, do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I've negotiated with people in bad faith. Well, like, yeah. who they're negotiating in bad faith. Yes. And I'm like, this is never going to get done. Like you're not even like you don't get it. If I if I'm if I'm part if I'm Netanyahu and I'm I'm negotiating with Hamas, then there has to be you have to go. Hey Hamas, what would make you happy in this deal? If the response is the complete destruction of the Israeli state, what's the next step for us? Like where do we go? From yeah, that? yeah, yeah. And if you read the Charter of Hamas from 1988, it literally says the destruction of the Israeli state. Yeah. How do you negotiate with them? Please, someone stop me. Tell me where I'm wrong here. Uh, Andrew Tate went on um, Pierce Morgan two days ago and. And he goes, and he's you know obviously very pro-Palestine. And the stuff he's saying isn't wrong, but he's just talking about one side of it. Um, there's an issue that's going on here, but the problem is you have to have two sides that can uh, that can debate in good faith. And in this in this in this case, they they cannot. That's it. And the the other thing is that's really problematic is you can't debate in good faith when it's emotion based. Well, what, what, but again, what is the emotion? The emotion is I believe in Ishmael. And you believe in Jacob. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And because we believe in these two different things, we can't find a common ground. Your belief in Ishmael, for those of you who don't understand, we're talking about the, the formation of Islam versus Judaism. If you if you believe in that and your own the only way is it says in your book that the infidel must be crushed, then how are we supposed to be able to come to some kind of agreement? Yeah, and that's and I said this before too. It's like, look, the Bible says what it says, the Quran says what it says. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. That's yeah. what the Quran says, you know. Granted, in the Bible, like, the Jews were told to kill certain people yeah. at certain times. But in the New Testament, it went away. Yes. And so it's like, we as Christians don't believe that at all, yeah. right? But that's still in the Quran. Yeah. It's, it's we just, don't have to exterminate the Muslims. Like, yes. that, that's not a thing. That's not correct. But that's in the Quran, to get rid of those. To get rid of the infidels. And it's and you're willing to you're allowed to lie to the infidels and say whatever you need yeah. to say. So my only point is this like I want to go that when you ask for the ceasefire, that's fine. But don't ask for the ceasefire so that you can build up your forces and then attack again. Right. If you ask for the ceasefire, once you ask for the ceasefire, the next thing you need to do is say, Hey, maybe Hamas attacking on October 7th was the problem. Therefore, let's remove Hamas from our leadership yeah. so that this doesn't happen again and we can work on a better solution, which might include taking some of those areas of Israel and annexing them into Jordan and other countries so that we just don't do this anymore. <laughs> you ever think about that? Like if, if it's bad enough, then like let's, you know, it's just one of these things where 
Israel has the right to defend themselves, and so does Palestine. They have the right to the, defend themselves too. But it's 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 outrageous for people to think that they shouldn't. You know, yeah. the same thing in in Ukraine. I was telling my friends this the other day. I'm not from New Mexico. If Mexico invaded New Mexico, I would go enlist right back into the military and I would do everything I can to protect U.S. citizens in New Mexico. That makes sense to me. For some reason, it doesn't make sense in other places in the world. It's rational for people to behave in this way on both sides. So let's have empathy for both sides and then let's try to negotiate in good faith. But we can't if I'm trying to find a solution and you're trying to kill me. That's my point. Yep. No, you're right. You're right. Yep. So back to... Just this idea of <laughs> somehow we keep talking about dating and then it goes back to like Israel and Palestine. No, but, you know, here's, yeah, yeah. here's what it is. Everything we've talked about here is objective truth versus feelings. That's it. That's essentially what, yeah, yeah, what yeah. happens. Okay. An objective truth is you have biases and I have biases and our biases are based on how we grew up and our stimulus and our genetics. Yeah, yeah. That's where our, our, our biases come from. If we understand these biases, the first place we can start from is I don't hate you. Yep. And your beliefs are not based because you're a bad person. They're based on stimulus that you received before I ever met you. Yep. And so from that point, we can find a common ground. That's the same in dating, the same in Ukraine, the same in Israel, the same in intersexual dynamics, the same with economics, all these different things. You have to figure out why people are motivated to do those the things they're doing. When, 